Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video, we are going to discuss how we can apply or use if null function using calculated field in Looker or Google Data Studio. So as you can see over here in my table, I have null values for certain ages for certain records. So for example, Ankita, the age is null. Similarly for Aradhana, age is null, right? Now, what I need to do is that I need to replace this null with a certain value or a default value. And if I show you the raw data, then you can see over here that my raw data also has blank or null values for certain records over here where the customer name is there, customer ID is there, cart value is there, but their age is blank. So by default, we can input any age value. So suppose we are going to take the age value as 25 and replace this blank with that 25 value over here in our table. So how we can do that? So in this video, we'll create this table and we are going to apply or use if null function with the calculated field to replace a null value with a certain default value. And before we use this function, let's understand the if null function a little. So as you can see over here, I have given the syntax. So if null is the keyword and if null function is a conditional function in Looker and it returns a result if the input is null. Otherwise, it will return the input value that you had given. And over here you can see that the in input expression is this. So in place of this input expression or the argument, this input expression is equivalent to this column over here because I want to replace null values within this column. So the first argument will be this column age and then this null result. And if this column has null, then what would be the result? So the result would be 25. So instead of this null result in my function, I'm going to give the value 25 over there. Okay. So let's go and create this table in our looker dashboard from this data. So to do that, we can click on this edit button first and I'm going to add a new page over here. So whenever you create a new report, the first thing that looker will ask you to add a data. If you have not added your data, then you can click on add data and wherever your data is there if it is in excel or in google sheet you can import your data with the help of this google connectors and you can use this connector to import your data in your report now to add a table what you need to do is that you need to click on add a chart and you can take any table based on your requirements so i'm taking a simple table over here now whenever you create a table Looker will by default select a data source for you. If you want to change your data source for this table, you can come up to the setup section, click over here, and then you can select your data based on your requirement also. But for me, I'll just keep this data as it is because I'm going to use this data for replication of this table that I have in my page one. So by default, Looker has selected customer ID as my dimension and record count over here. So instead of this record count, I'm just going to take age column over here in my metric and you will see for two rows I have null over here. Let me increase the size of this table. So you can see for customer 4 we have age as null. Similarly for customer 7 we have age as null. Now in this dimension section I am going to take customer name customer nickname and final name that we created in our last video. Okay, and let's resize the column over here. Now what I need to do is that instead of this null, I have to replace this null with a default value, which is 25 over here. And to do that, we will be using the calculated field. Okay, so there are two ways to create a calculated field. You can create a calculated field in the metric section that will be calculated metric or you can create a calculated field in your data section that will be calculated field within your data section. So if you want to create a calculated field in metric, what you can do is that you can click on add metric, then you can click on create a field. You have to give the name of the field and the formula over here. But I'm going to add the calculated field in my data section so that in case if I need to add that calculated new field into some other visualization visit I can use it but if you will add 
the calculated field in this metric section then you will be able to use that calculated field for this specific visualization visit only so it's always better to create a calculated field in your data so i'm going to click on add a field and then looker will ask me the field name so i'm just going to give age version 1 and in this function or formula i'm going to use the if null function saying that if null and the moment you will write if null you will see that the looker intelligence will show you this function within this bracket the first thing that we need to give is the input field or the input expression where we are replacing the null values so for us the column is age so i'm just going to give age over here and then we have to give a comma after this comma we have to give the result value so in case if we find any null in this column then what would be the result so i'm just going to give 25 as the default value and the moment i click on save you will see that the calculated field is saved and we can click on finish and we have a new column over here which says age underscore version 1 so i'm just going to take this age and put it over here either in metric or in dimension so if i put it into dimension you will see that for this null values we are getting 25 and this is what we wanted to do we wanted to replace the null value with a certain value using the if null function within a calculated field so this is how basically you can return the result if the input is null using the calculated field with the help of a if null function happy learning and see you in the next video